Hi, I'm Donny Buchanan from EntryCounts.com. In this video, we're going to look at how you insert additional work papers or schedules within Xero. You may need to do this in the notes, depending on what you need to disclose. For example, disaggregation of revenue. You may want to take the accounts and break them down into different sections. Or you may have related party transactions and you may need to break them down into the different types of transactions and the amounts. So how do we do that? Go down the page here to, for example, sales revenue. Let's say we want to add more information about these three categories. What we do is we come here, edit layout, highlight the schedule, we have two options. Let's look at the first option. That's a schedule. Go up to this icon here, add. From this point, you're going to have to do a little bit of work. So you come over here, you need to give it a name. Then you have to decide whether it's a debit or a credit positive. Decide whether or not you want it to be numbered and whether or not you want a total. Once that's done, the next step is to insert custom rows. One. Over here, we give it a name. Then we click update. What Zero has given us is the ability to type freely the amounts in these cells. Using this method allows us to display it nice and cleanly. So that's option one. Option two is that you can insert a Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets work paper. Click Edit Layout. Up the top, click Text Block and give it a name. The next step is to copy and paste your work paper from Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets. Copy. paste. So there you have your two options. You can choose between those two however you see fit. Thank you.